Hey guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking. For this video, I am cooperating with Thrive Market because the guys from Thrive Market approached me and asked if I could create a sweet little surprise using almond butter. But wait, who is Thrive Market? Now, Thrive Market is an online store that offers really healthy and organic products below retail price. Now, how cool is that? More on Thrive Market later, but today I decided to use almond butter and incorporate it with a very typical German recipe, which is usually cooked during um, Christmas. And this is how to prepare German macarons with almond butter. There's a little twist to the original recipe. I love this a lot because it has this nutty flavor, it's crispy on the outside, so delicious. And of course, Valentine's Day is coming. We need something quick, we need something looking delicious, and we need to gain all the brownie points from our loved ones. So let's concentrate on the recipe and the ingredients now. We need some desiccated coconut, egg white, sugar, brown or white, it doesn't really matter. Baking wafers, which are very common in Germany, and if you can't have them or you can't find them, then just bake them on parchment paper or baking paper. And the star of the recipe, you will need almond butter. Just look at the consistency of this almond butter from Trife. It's so smooth and so creamy. I love it with bread or smoothies, but today we are going to bake them. There are only a few steps to prepare this beautiful German coconut macarons. Now, first of all, preheat the oven at 210 Celsius and then we're going to mix the ingredients. So, desiccated coconut, sugar, and egg white. Last but not least, almond butter. Now that everything is in this bowl, we are just going to give it a quick mix. But the most important step is to prepare a pot of water, boiling water, and we are going to double boil this. Now with a bit of heat, it will help to create this really delicious consistency that you'll get in German coconut macarons. Really crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, also delicious. Now that the water is boiling, I'm going to place this metal bowl right above the pot and continue mixing. Now what you want to achieve here is to ensure that the mixture reaches up to about 55 to 60 Celsius and then we can stop. Right, so this will have to go on a little while. Remember to keep stirring until it reaches about 55 to 60 Celsius because if it's too hot, then the egg whites will start cooking. So avoid that. Now, if you don't have a thermometer, it's very simple. Just use your fingers and you'll be able to touch the mixture. And it's slightly warm, lukewarm. And then you know that everything is fine here. We're going to place this baking wafers directly on the parchment paper. Without this, it would also do fine. Once you remove the mixture, let it cool down slightly because we will still want to shape it and put them onto these baking wafers. Now, you can either pipe it, but I'm going to do something simpler, which is to pick two teaspoons, scoop a bit, then transfer them onto these baking wafers. There you go. As you can see, I'm not really placing too much of uh, pressure on the outlook of it because once we bake it, we're going to dip it into chocolate. There you go, this is done and that means we can bake them. Now these um, coconut macarons are brown in colour because I use raw sugar just to make it slightly healthier. But of course you can use white sugar and then you'll get this really uh, delicious looking, Christmassy actually, snow um, looking coconut macarons. So it's really up to you what you want. Now I'm going to bake this. We're going to bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes. But before looking at the final result, I'd like to share with you more about Thrive Market. So when they approached me, I wasn't really sure if I should take up the challenge to create this recipe. 
um, and then they shared with me their mission which I truly believe in and support so as you know Nyonya cooking is all about home recipes which uh, are supposed to make you feel good and I truly believe in getting good quality products Thrive Market wants to make healthy living easy and affordable so for those of you who are living in the United States I have something for you if you like a free jar of creamy almond butter which is featured in this recipe click on the link in the description box additionally you'll get 30 days access to uh, Thrive Market and you will get to shop for all these awesome products and once you have shopped and done your selection you only pay $195 to get it shipped directly to your door isn't that awesome? So quickly do so. And meanwhile, I can already smell the coconut um, flavors from these macarons and a hint of almond. There is this really slight hint of almond and that means I guess my macarons are ready. So let's check them out. As you can see, everything looks so beautiful. Now, if you're wondering why is it slightly brown on the outside, and that's because uh, the sugar caramelized. So you could imagine there's this added caramelized sugar flavor to the coconut macarons, which usually appear in German macarons. Very, very delicious. Meanwhile, I'm going to melt some chocolate because we're going to decorate our coconut macarons. And because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to add some fun into it. As you can see, the final result is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I have to take a bite. Mmm. This is super good. On the outside, it's really crispy. And as I promise, inside is slightly moist. So as you bite into it, you get this gooiness. You really taste the almond um, butter because of this hint of uh, nuttiness. And I have to point out, using raw sugar in this recipe makes a big difference. I hope you enjoyed this recipe just as much as I enjoyed preparing them. And if you have prepared these cookies for your loved ones during Valentine's Day or any time of the year, send us photos on the website nyonyocooking.com and subscribe to our newsletter because that's where we are going to send you free recipes to your inbox. If you haven't subscribed to Nyonya Cooking, Remember to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Give me a thumbs up while you're here. Until then, I wish you Happy Valentine's Day and Happy Cooking!